to this video session. The topic that we are going to cover in this session is Physical Properties of Metals and Non-Metals. We will discuss the physical properties of both metals and non-metals one by one. First, we will discuss about metals. The first physical property of metals is that metals are malleable. So children, what do you understand by malleable? It means that metals can be beaten into thin sheets with a hammer without breaking it. Gold and silver are the best malleable metals. Aluminium foils are used for packing food items because aluminium is malleable and can be converted in form of thin sheets. The second property is that metals are ductile. What is the meaning of ductility? It means that metals can be drawn into thin wires. Gold is most ductile metal. Silver is also among the best ductile metals. Copper and aluminium metals are also ductile and can be drawn into thin copper wires and aluminium wires. The next third property of metals is that metals are good conductors of heat. Silver is the best conductor of heat. Copper and aluminium are also good conductors of heat. But do you know how metals conduct heat? Let us understand this by an activity. Tie an aluminium wire to the stand in such a way with a clamp. Stick a pin using wax on the open end of the wire. Heat the wire near the clamp with a burner. After a while, you will notice that the pin pasted with wax falls as the wax melts. But how did this become possible? How does heat reach from one end of the wire to the other? When a metal is heated, its atoms receive energy and vibrate at greater speeds. This energy is received by the electrons present in the atoms. These electrons move in the metal. When energetic electrons move in the metal, they provide energy to the other electrons and atoms of the metal. In this way, heat is conducted from one end of the metal to the other. The fourth property is that metals are good conductors of electricity. That is, they allow electric current to pass through them easily. Silver metal is the best conductor of electricity. Copper metal is the next best conductor of electricity followed by gold, aluminium and tungsten. The electric wires are mostly made of copper and aluminium because they are very good conductors of electricity and less expensive as compared to silver. The next fifth property of metals is that metals are lustrous. That is, they have a shiny surface and also they can be polished. For example, gold, silver and copper. The next sixth property of metals is that metals are generally hard except sodium and potassium. Most of the metals are hard but all the metals are not equally hard. The hardness varies from metal to metal. Most metals like iron, copper, aluminium are very hard. Although there are certain metals like sodium and potassium that are very soft and they can even be cut with a knife. The next seventh property of metals is that metals are solids at room temperature except mercury which is liquid at room temperature. Most metals are solids at room temperature and there is only one metal which is liquid at room temperature which is mercury. 
The next eighth property of metals is that metals have high melting and boiling point except sodium and potassium which have low melting point. For example, iron metal has high melting point of 1535 degrees Celsius. This means that solid iron melts and turns into liquid iron on heating to a high temperature of 1535 degrees Celsius. Let's move ahead to the next ninth property which is that metals have high densities except sodium and potassium. It means that these metals are heavy substances. For example, the density of iron is 7.8 grams per centimeter cube, which is quite high. The next and the tenth property of metals is metals are sonorous in nature. Children, do you know the meaning of sonorous? Sonorous means the property of producing the ringing sound. It is due to this property that metals are used for making bells and strings of musical instruments like guitar. Students, let us now move ahead towards the physical properties of non-metals. The first property of non-metals is that they are neither malleable nor ductile. They are brittle, that is, they break easily. Therefore, solid non-metals can neither be hammered into thin sheets nor they can be drawn into wires. The next second property of non-metals is that they do not conduct electricity and heat. So students, unlike metals, these non-metals do not conduct heat or electricity. Why? Because they do not have free electrons. For example, sulfur and phosphorus. You will be fascinated to know that graphite, which is a non-metal, is a good conductor of electricity. It is the only non-metal which is known to conduct electricity due to the presence of free electrons. The next third property of non-metals is that non-metals are non-lustrous. It means that they have a dull surface. For example, sulfur and phosphorus. The next fourth property of non-metals is that they are generally soft, except diamond. The next fifth property of non-metals is that they can be solid, liquid or a gas at the room temperature. For example, carbon, sulfur and phosphorus are solids. Bromine is liquid and hydrogen oxygen, nitrogen and chlorine are gaseous at room temperature. The next sixth property of non-metals is that they have a comparatively low melting and boiling points except diamond. The next seventh property of non-metals is that they have low densities. That is they are light substances. For example, sulfur has a density of 2 grams per centimeter cube. The next eighth property of non-metals is that they are non-sonorous. That is, they do not produce a ringing sound when hit with an object. In this video, we studied the physical properties of metals and non-metals. In the next video, we will learn about chemical properties of metals.